Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Most Marvelous Mox back at you with another video. And today we are going to be building the Ronin Titan from the game Titanfall 2. Now, I really love this game and I'm playing the, replaying the campaign and I really want to just make a Titan um, and maybe like make a mock off this game because a long time ago I had built this Titan right here. This is not obviously not the mech. Um, Obviously not the Titan I'm going to be building today, but I made this a long time ago when I was playing the game, the campaign a while ago, maybe over a year ago. And um, I'm going to be making another Titan based off Ronin. This one isn't based off any of them. It's just kind of a, maybe a mix of North Star and some of the other ones because of the jetpack and the missiles. But um, it's just, it's not my favorite and it definitely has a lot of room for improvement. I'm not going to, Obviously, improve this one. I think I'm going to take it apart, but I wanted to just show you guys this one um, and some of the things I'm not going to be zooming for the new one. Um, so for most the mechs when building LEGO, a lot of the times they have these joints showing, and I really don't want to do that. I want to cover the joints up with um, probably some plates like this and this plate, maybe cover it up. I think that'll look cleaner. Um, but that was probably the biggest mistake I made on this one is having the joint show and the overall proportion is just too big. The proportion of the Titan is just too big. My first mistake was actually allowing a minifigure to be going here and making room for it because it just doesn't work. The new one, I'm definitely not going to be able to fit a minifigure in there because it just throws the entire thing off proportion when you have to base it around, build it around a minifigure because minifigures are just too big. And when a minifigure is like, this small compared to the Titan, it just looks really unrealistic. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna be building that on um, this video. So, stick around. Hey guys, so that video you just saw was from a few weeks ago, and I'm finally done with this. It took a long, long time to make, and I haven't been able to upload actually videos I've been making for until yesterday because I had some complications um, with my devices. But anyway, here we are, and I'm gonna be showing y'all in detail this Ronin. Titanfall mech I made. Now, the first thing I started to do was make the um, center, make the base part, obviously, this top right here, right here. So I did not, as I said in the previous video, I did not make a space for a minifigure because that's just way too big and building around a minifigure is just extremely hard and takes away a lot of the good looks of the Titanfall mech. And I did this part many times i made it too big a couple times i made it too small whatever and it just i probably built it five or six i don't know maybe even 10 times i don't really remember how many times it took but it took a while until i finally got the right shape about and i just when i finished this it really worked and i just decided um when i made this i just decided i'm not going to build it exactly off the ronin model because it actually goes up right here instead of sloping back. It slopes back up. But with this right here, I thought it looked fine because this goes up. And it just was extremely hard to do it exactly right. So I decided to make kind of my own version of it. And as you can see, there's not maroon in here or anything because I just didn't want to add that. And I wanted to kind of make my own model, but still basing it off the Roan Titanfall 2 mech. So that was the first part I built. And I actually built it, when I first built it, I extended the... It was actually a lot smaller, but then afterwards, when I was completed with it, I decided to add an entire another layer right here. This entire beam right there I added, and I extended the back, and I think that made it like way cleaner, making it bigger. So, this part was the one I built next for the legs, and I thought this came out really nicely, the joint that connects the body with the legs, and... Uh, I really like the, I put three of these cylinder plates or whatever they're called right here in a row and it looks pretty darn good. And then I used Lego hands in the back of um, just normal plates and that made it look like it was connecting and just kind of had that look that the Ronin Titanfall mech has with the wires. Um, in the back here, I used a lot of um, these backward pieces that stick on and have slopes and I used for up here um, with the black circle I made there. Uh, I used, I don't know what these pieces are called, but um, a variation of headlight bricks and uh, these one by four slopes. 
and I used to put those together and it made that uh, circle you see there. That looks pretty darn good. And for the legs, so the next part I built were the legs and their mobility isn't great because the joints I used to connect them are hard to move in general. And uh, they're, the force applied to move them is enough force to break the leg completely off because it's joined only by this part, as you can see how I made it. I used this piece to connect them and it was just a um, two stud connection and yeah it just breaks off but it's okay because I like it as a model and it's not really a model I use to move around a lot it doesn't move a ton because it's flimsy but anyway the legs were a lot easier to make than the arms because these three joints right here making the leg there's three joints instead of two and this just made it flow a lot better it just made it easier to make for some reason the Feet were hard to do and making it be able to stand up and both the feet be at a level area without the... And a problem I had was I put a piece right here or it was in between the toe. It was in between uh, right here. So this that part right there in the middle in between the two toes and it made it so I could not move the foot and make it completely fat flat so I had to fix that problem that was difficult another thing I did to, for the legs was add these um plates right here which connected the joints together and that made it way way easier to cover up the joints and it just made it way better looking um uh covering up the joints I think was a great idea and as you can see, the entire thing's falling apart. But uh, it was hard to build these because I had to make them very skinny. And making them skinny uh, is a lot is pretty hard when you want to cover up the joints and you want to add uh, color on the side while keeping well, or add color on the side because I don't have white pieces of these clips that clip together. Um, these pairs of the leg that clip together and I wanted the base joints to be black anyway and cover it with white because that just looks better and yeah that's the legs so I'm going to move on to the arms so as you can see the arms are attached by this rod and if I had tried to make the arms go outwards like this but uh, they can't but if I tried to do that that would have been extremely extremely hard I honestly don't know how comment down below if you guys have any ideas how to make the arms go out this way um it's kind of hard to pose him when his arms can mo only move this way back and forward but the way to attach is to this um rod and getting them to jot out like that that's what makes it so hard to move them from to the side and the arms are really really difficult to do i made so many different arm models to be able to attach to this it's crazy i made probably 10 or 15 and it took a really long time but i i think they turned out pretty darn good as long as you don't bend it to how far this way then it just looks weird but if you keep it like this then it looks good i mean i think it's pretty cool looking the arms are pretty cool looking and the hands too were a real hassle to make and especially to fit the sword which i'll be talking about next now the sword was also difficult to make just to make it sharp looking i don't know if i did a great job also comment down below if you um have any uh, better ideas for the sword i looked at some pictures for this and i really didn't want i saw some good ones but i really didn't want to copy from a picture because then it's not original if you copy it from uh, another person building a lego model and i saw one that was pretty good but i kind of like i pretty like the way it turned out it looks pretty good um so however this part right here is pretty flimsy as you can see the clips that I attached don't actually match up and for the hand i actually put modifications on the hand um extensions on the hand to make the sword look better these parts are not part of the sword i mean they're supposed to be part of the sword but they're not actually attached to it so when you put it on it looks way better than if there was nothing on the hands there it just look it just look weird but yeah i as you you can um rewatch the video if you missed if you wanted to see any of these special details that i didn't go into especially on the back here with the joints and just things i did uh if you guys are making your own mech i have a few tips for you make it small usually oh whoops the sword came off usually the small bigger mechs are easier to move around and do things with but they just don't look as good because you have to use large joints and large joints I, I don't know it's just smaller 
It's just most of the time smaller mechs and or in this case a Titan. It's just so much better looking because the mech just doesn't working with the larger joints is easier, but it's just when it's bigger, it does not fit character scale as well. So yeah, but there's that. And then also try to cover up joints like I did here. Right here I couldn't, but I think that looks fine. Also try to put or try to put these plates to cover up those side joints right there. And it looks really, really good when you add those plates. And just keep trying. Don't try to work with your... If your first model of it isn't working, just tr restart. And definitely look at um, other people's pictures and stuff. Because if you try to make it just on the first try and base your entire model off the middle, when you're starting with the middle, which is always the best idea... Always start with the middle and base it, build your arms and legs around it. Because if you start with the arms or legs, then it's going to be really hard. But you want to get the middle just right. Because then it's going to throw off your entire your entire build if it's if the middle's wrong. Because that's just what you're building around. And as for weapons, I myself didn't get the sword great. So I don't know if I can really tell you guys how to make cool swords and guns. Which I did not even attempt to do. Making a gun for this guy would be really hard. Maybe if this video gets enough views, I will build a gun for him and maybe another titan and maybe incorporate it into make a titanfall 2 mod who knows um but make sure to like the video and i will make a montage with the pictures of this and different poses and that'll come out um in a few days so thank you guys so much for watching if you stick to the end and you like the video please consider subscribing it'd be epic because we're really trying to grow our channel and we appreciate you guys huge support already to the people who already support the channel. And yes, yeah, stay safe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.